Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, welcome to my video. Uh, my name is Somil Shah, and uh, thank you so much for joining in my crash course, basically where we would be learning about uh, GCP buckets. So in this video, you are expected to learn following aspects of the GCP bucket. We would be creating an IAM user, basically, you know, uh, an uh, IAM user will be downloading that credential. We would be programmatically accessing the GCP bucket. So we would be, uh, you know, we would be deleting an item, we would be inserting an item, we would be updating an item, we would be downloading all the files from a bucket and uh, stuff like that. And at the end, we will read uh, directly a pandas uh, data frame, uh, a CSV file from a bucket without even downloading as a pandas data frame. All of this is there in this video. Uh, hope you are excited. It's going to be a small crash course about 20 minutes. Uh, so a little bit of information about myself for people who are watching for the first time. Um, afternoon, one and all. My name is Samil Shah. I'm a software and a hardware developer uh, based in New York City. Uh, I have completed my bachelor's in electronic engineering and double master's in computer and electrical engineering. I basically develop Python-based cross-platform websites, software, REST APIs, database, ETL scripts, and much more. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. I'm excited, right? Uh, let's head to, over to the GCP. Let's create our credentials. First of all, we need to go to the IAM. Um, so click on this uh, nav bar right here and head over to the IAM. Okay, so that's what you wanna do first. Uh, you wanna head over to the service account right here on the left-hand side. Click on the create service account. That's what you wanna do. Uh, give it a name. Let's call this as um, uh, foo test. Okay, I'm just naming it anything. Description can be anything. Uh, I'm just gonna say test for now. Don't click on the done, click on the create because we gotta assign a uh, role, okay? So once done that, this is very important. We gotta say project and we gotta say owner because that's gonna give you all the rights. Click on continue button. Don't click on, uh, don't enter anything here. Leave it uh, default, uh, click on done. This should basically create an account for you. Um, after the done, click on this three dots, uh, create a key, a JSON key, uh, create that. And a key would be downloaded on our computer. Make sure to copy that key uh, in your some project directory or stuff like that. Now let's have head over to the buckets. So I'm gonna scroll down, click on file store, uh, not file store, I'm gonna go to storage and browse. Creating buckets is a piece of cake here. All you gotta do, click on the button right here, give it a unique name, for example, um, I'm giving it, giving it a name, click on continue or create and the bucket is created, that's easy. Now let's explore the programmatic, how do you do that? First of all, you wanna install all of these dependencies, that is uh, Google API, Python client, and the uh, Google Cloud Storage library. Okay, first of all, step one, import all the libraries. Step two, update the environment variable. Basically what I'm doing is the path of that file, the JSON file that it was downloaded. So I'm just saying like, hey, os.getcwd in the current working directory and that file name, join that, create a file path. And I'm updating the, uh, the environment variable there. So I'm running the cell. First thing what you gotta do is you gotta create a client object. So I'm doing that and the client object takes a path, which is the uh, path of the JSON file. If you try to run that, uh, oops, seems like we have an error. Okay, so let's see what do we have. Oh, so it says the file is not found. I guess I have accidentally deleted that file. So. Uh, let me re, uh, let me uh, you know put that back. So so I'm gonna restore that. Uh, let's just see the name of the file is some. Okay, let's try again. I think I did restore it because before the tutorial I was just cleaning my folder structure. So I think now it's working, right? So that's done. Okay. Uh, once done that. Getting files from a bucket is piece of cake. Um, all you gotta do is say get buckets and you gotta provide the bucket name. So I did that. Okay, and now it's a iterator object. So if you wanna um, get elements out of it, so you gotta say buckets dot list blobs, prefix is equal to null. So basically uh, this is this, these, this is gonna gr grab all the file names in the bucket. So let's run that. It's gonna print in a list attribute. So here you can see I have a CSV file and, a, and an image. So I have two things right here. So you can see that now downloading stuff from bucket can be, it's very easy piece of cake. So let's say I wanna download this CSV file. Um, so the name of the file. So all you gotta do is uh, you gotta say bucket.blob. You gotta provide a blob name. And that is the name of the file or you would say a key. Run that piece of cake and all you gotta do is you can save it, right? So I can pretty much say uh, do.csv, write buffer and then write, you wanna write what? You wanna write, you wanna write the blob, perfect. 
Yeah, my computer is a bit slow, so you gotta be patient on that. <laughs> so that's done uh, pretty easy. Uh, so if I wanna show you personal projects, uh, so you remember do.csv, that's our CSV file and it should have all the data. So this is just, we downloaded it from the GCP bucket. It was so easy, right? We created a client object, uh, we created a bucket object, then we from that we just say dot blob and that's pretty much it, right? Um, let me see if I can open, I think, um, yeah. So let me, let me, let me do this. Uh, if you want to see that file, of course I can show you, um, if I have pandas, pandas as PD or DF is equal to PD. Let's just do a uh, read underscore CSV and I'm going to say do dot CSV. Uh, let's just say DF dot head. Just want to show you that it works. So of course you see, uh, it was downloaded and everything works fine. So with that being said, pretty good. Uh, let me actually remove the cell. Yeah, my computer is a little laggy for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. So now that's done, right? Now you want to push items into a bucket, right? Pushing items is very, very easy, right? So similarly, let's push this do.csv uh, on the bucket. So first of all, what you got to do is you got to, of course, uh, create a file name, whatever file you want to upload on the bucket. In this case, I want to upload do.csv. Then you got to, of course, um, you know, join that. You got to create a path object, right? With os.path. So running that, easy. And simple enough, you create a bucket object as you did before. Then you just say dot blob and then the file name. And then you say upload from file name and the entire path. Once you do that, if you come to the GCP bucket and if I want to show you, as usual, the code is there. So do not worry about that do.csv. Lovely. Reading CSV directly from a GCP bucket as a pandas data frame can be never be that easy. So all you gotta do is import these libraries, uh, read CSV, io.bytes.io, buckets.blob, dot blob name, that's a CSV name. And then you can say download as string, that's gonna down download a byte object, encoding at UTF-8 separator as eight. If you do that, you can directly download or read files from the bucket. That, that's easy, piece of cake, right? Um, that's that. Uh, last at the end, I want to show you how to delete uh, items from a bucket. So let's delete uh, do.csv from the bucket, right? I mean, let's do that. I mean, it should be easy, right? So all you got to do is provide the um, file name here. And you got to say blob. Uh, blob. Uh, basically, you say you get a blob and then you say blob.delete. So I've deleted the file and you can see do.csv is gone from the GCP bucket. Refresh that and it's gone. So Thank you so much for watching. This is a complete CRUD operation on a GCP bucket. So we did get uh, get items from a bucket, put items from a bucket, bucket, deleted an item from a bucket, reading CSV file from the GCP bucket as a pandas data frame. Uh, hopefully that was useful and uh, the entire blog or this code section is there on the description section. So you can you know download it and play, play with it. So yeah, uh, please let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this would be useful for people. Uh, if you do find it useful, a simple way to support me would be liking the video. And if you have any more um, suggestions, comments, leave them in the comment section and I would be very happy to assist you. Uh, once again, keep smiling, keep programming, never give up and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.